we love a good happy hour here at Houston Life. <laughs> Why not make your next date night one to remember with flirty cocktails you can do at home. Promise it's easier than it looks, folks. Here with more lead mixologist at Lake Colonial, Alexa Braswell. Welcome back to Houston Life. Great to oh see my you. Gosh, I'm so excited to be back. This is awesome. And um, this, this is a great variety of beautiful. cocktails you oh, brought yeah, today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got a little bit of everything here for everyone. And they look a little complicated, but they're really not. Don't be afraid. Okay. Um, so let's, like, let's hop right and in. And you're going to be doing the Spice Me Up, the Yin and Yang, yes. and then the Passion. Yes. Let's start with the Spice Me Up. Okay, so this one is called Spice Me Up just because this has a little little tequila in it and who doesn't love that um, we also have some Casamigos tequila this is uh, have you heard of George Clooney mm -hmm. who has no. it we have yeah, this at home <laughs> yeah, now on, so your, on your date night you probably don't want to bring him up to your spouse you know but, but other than his, that <laughs> this is his uh, tequila though right yeah he's one of the uh, creators of this tequila oh, so awesome. we're gonna go ahead you can use any kind of like silver Blanco tequila that you like I've got about one and a half ounces of that we're gonna get some lemon juice in there then I have some agave mm, okay. for a little sweetness. It's good. And then the Campari, which has like a slight bitterness. It's kind of like a bitters. Um, it's a lot of uh, fruit and spices that are kind of combined with alcohol and water. Usually this will have some citrus in it, um, citrus notes like orange. Very but, uh, and then what's that spice you, you put That's in? just a little black pepper. That's the spiciness just of the spice meat. Just black pepper. Oh, You're wow. Oh, yeah. And I noticed you started by muddling some basil and strawberries. Yes, yeah, so we just uh, muddled some fresh basil, two strawberries, and then sugar it up in here with all of our nice alcohols. Oh, and you're straining. We're so you, gonna, you do that because you don't want the strawberry seeds in there, right? Right. Um, and what we're doing is double straining it. And again, like, you know, getting all of these um, items shows that you really care about your spouse. It's really not hard to find. Specs, goody goody, the grocery store, Amazon, very easy to find all this stuff, okay? So we're just going to double strain it. All right. And then we're going to top it yeah, off. Pretty color, too. I know. It smells so good. This is good. It looks beautiful. It matches your shirt, Courtney. <laughs> it really does. It does, huh? actually, like perfectly. Cheers. All right. Look at that. And I actually Who like knew? to add a little pepper on top. You're mm. kidding. There Alexa. you go. Look at that little trace. Very it's nice. so good. Okay, while we sip on this, the next one is a little more decadent, including the okay, chocolate. So, and I know this one kind of looks like it's a little intimidating, right? Um, but what we do, you can get like Hershey's chocolate syrup and go around the rim of your martini glass or the inside of it. Stick it in the freezer so that this chocolate syrup doesn't melt on you oh. and it'll hold its form. So, Courtney, yours is like nice and like yeah. solid. Yeah, I love how there, you, you know? kept it so perfectly right. intact. Right, it's beautiful. So, that's one of the most important parts about this visually is to keep that in the cooler and then make the cocktail. How long do you keep it in the freezer? I mean, it only takes like a couple of seconds to a minute. You can it's leave it in longer and have it actually freeze. I on actually here. have a set of 10 in my freezer. I just pull it out yeah. when it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you can do any kind of glass or this is really Did easy. But, um, two for breakfast, two for lunch. Two for breakfast. The rest for dinner. Oh, sounds counting? like my kind of breakfast. Um, but yeah, really quickly here. So what we have is we have Grey Goose Vanilla Vodka. So this is like a dark chocolate oh. um, vanilla martini. Yin and yang is what I like to call it because mm. like two opposing forces coming together to create a delicious drink or a delicious relationship. Okay. Whichever you prefer. Gotcha. This is fantastic. Um, so we have some Bailey's Irish Cream, dark um, Godiva chocolate liqueur, heavy cream not mm. half and half and we're gonna put this into our shaker okay. and the most important part shake it like you mean it shake it long own that it's shake <laughs> own it all right Alexa. That, that's the most impressive part also and now I'm done I'm just joking <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do here we're gonna strain this into our martini glass that is already beautifully decorated for us I'm just gonna do this over here this and is so good. And I will tell you, a lot of times oh. these dessert drinks are very heavy and thick. Yeah. Not the case. This is all flavor. It's yep. perfectly balanced. Yep. It's so good. And the most important part is, is that it's super boozy. If you didn't there, notice. I know. It's all booze all and boozy. a little chocolate on top to garnish. Yes. While you're garnishing that, I do want to point out this beautiful cocktail that you have at the end here. This is yes. the mango passion so mango and passion fruit martini yes that looks absolutely beautiful we'll post the recipe on our website and on our facebook page definitely or Alexa, come into the you. restaurant and have it with us or definitely. go visit alexa at lake colonial i love that spot thank you so much thank you guys cheers thank you to cheers. You. cheers thank you and as you. always if it's you would like to week. connect with alexa you can visit the scene on houston life section of our website houstonlife.tv we'll be right back <laughs> thank you